Dark People's Congress has called for peace to be restored in Boko for development. But the president of the Kusak People's Congress said this at the inauguration of the non-political and non-profit organization at Zibela in the Boko West District of the Upper East Region. Well, for years, the Boko area has been the center of series of conflicts so which has led to the death of several people well it has also led to the destruction of property running into several millions of ghana cities joining us right here in the studio to discuss this and the way forward is reverend professor john azuma who is the president of the kusak people's congress well uh, reverend thank you very much for joining me first of all let me find out from you what do uh, does a constant uh, violence in the area uh, mean to the development of the community, especially coming from that area? Uh, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity and for the, the, the chance to be able to explain some of these issues that are affecting our people in the Boko municipal area. The conflict has really had a toll on the lives of people. It has cost lives, as you rightly said, innocent lives. Women, children, uh, men, uh, youth, lives are waste, uh, wasted mm. uh, on a very significant scale. And this has been a worrisome development since, last, uh, since November 2021. But apart from the lives that have been lost, uh, there is a lot of destruction of property. There is a lot of uh, livelihoods who's been affected because people's businesses have come to a standstill. Boku used to be a very vibrant commercial center mm. in the, all of the Upper East region. Now Boku is a very pale shadow of itself. Uh, and we were in Boku recently for the Salmon Pete Festival. Mm. And it is very sad to drive to Boku town and to see it as a ghost town. And this is something that is deeply worrying to the traditional leadership and to the leadership of the Kosar People's Congress. Mm. So, Prof, um, shortly, because of time, help me. I mean, yes, we discussed the troubles. It's not the first time I'm reading about Boko on the news. What can be done to help the situation, to resolve this conflict? Yeah, Boko is a very much, uh, people make it look complicated than it is. Uh, Boko situation is something that can be resolved, but it needs uh, political will. It is, it is very much a security issue, but it is also uh, has to do with a lot of political will that can be brought to bear on the cities on the ground. Uh, the, the Ghana security forces are very well uh, equipped and trained. A lot of uh, 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 accomplishment of the Ghana security forces that we all know in their international missions. So they are equipped. They've got the resources that they can really handle the cities on the ground. But the problem is they themselves have told some of us they need the free hand from mm. the political establishment on all sides mm. to be able to handle the situation on the ground. And you talk to the security people on the ground and they tell you, we are managing with the security situation. But what is left, the problem is a political problem. This is a chieftaincy dispute, so-called, uh, but this has been resolved and there is uh, people who are disputing it and they are resorting to all kinds of means to make their dispute and their make, to make their claims. And when you are in a country that's a country of rule of law, the law has to be enforced. So everybody is saying, for instance, when there was a political dispute after the ele last election, uh, one party, when the, the, the case was taken to the court, the Supreme Court ruled that uh, President Akufayado is the president. Now, if, if President Mahama had gone on to inaugurate himself and declare himself a president, and start denigrating the, 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 the legally accepted president, legal instrument will be instituted to address the situation. Mm. That's exactly what is happening in Boko. There's a status quo that has been accepted and, and, and ratified by all the courts and by all the, uh, the, 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 the National House of Chiefs and all of that, but there's a party that is holding itself out as also uh, the ru ru rulers of Boko. And Boko is just one town out of six uh, districts mm. that make up the Kusak traditional area. You've got the Benduri district, you've got the Garu district, you've got the Pusiga district, you've got the Boku West district, and you've got the Tempande district. Make it up six of Boku, uh, the Kusak traditional area. Of So if you, if you come that you want, you are the ruler of Boku, 
and yet there are all these other areas, six areas, six areas it creates a problem. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody saying, I want to be the ruler of Kumasi, but Ashanti, uh, it, can, it, can, it, it doesn't belong to me, but I am the ruler of Kumasi. And no one would accept that. G Accra is made up of a lot of uh, people, groups that are here. A lot of tribes are in Accra. It's very cosmopolitan. But we all know Accra is Ga traditional area. The same thing with Boko. Boko is very cosmopolitan. A lot of other tribes and ethnic groups are there. But there is a traditional area of the Kosasi people. And so this is a situation that needs to be told publicly and told forcefully. And get the political will gotten to enforce what we all know is the truth. Reverend Professor, I would want to thank you very much. We are sure duty bearers would be listening.